Uh, I'm not usually in the habit of reading things huh, when I'm talking to the public, but because this is a very delicate legal issue, Malemba, I have to be cautious. And uh, Nikohapa profile to mean that they elected a liar and a murderer. Eight, all, all the people of Kakamega estimated at around 2.6 million who I represent have been profiled to mean that their representatives is a liar and a murderer. Nine, my wives have been profiled to mean that they are prostitutes. The wives I have are specific and they are as follows. One, Adelaide Halwale, who died five years ago, is my first wife. Two, Josephine Halwale. I beg your pardon. Wife number one is Adelaide Halwale, who died five years ago. She's the mother of my first three children. All copyrights of mine, no doubt about their paternity. Josephine Halwale, my second wife, she's the mother of three of my children. One who has completed university, the other two still at the university. All copyrights, there's been no complaint about their paternity. Three, Gloria Halwale, who is the mother of eight of my, my children. These eight, some are at the university in Nairobi. The further action for clarity involves a number of suits. We are proceeding and suing the contractor of Kakamega, Cleophas Shimanyula, a.k.a. Malala. <coughs> oh, oh, their cousins are here. So we are suing the contractor of Kakamega, I beg your pardon, Mr. Cleophas Shimanyula Toto. I'm suing. My wives are suing. My children, who are also adults, are suing. The parents of my wives are suing. The police will make up their own minds if they want to sue. I think they are going to. From what I heard when I was uh, reporting the matter, Dr. Muchana is going to sue if he shows justice. So we would like Cleophas Shimanyula to talk to come and present evidence that we are all of us, all these people, we are who he claims that we are. I have built a public service image of over 30 years, some of those years as a doctor and many of the other years as a political leader in this country. I have never been involved in a, in a scandal. I have a, a spotless career of integrity and therefore I'm going to pursue the contractor of Kakamega County to its logical conclusions. And I will use all my talents and resources to test the veracity of his statement and make sure that all aggrieved parties are properly compensated for the serious damage. Tomorrow, I will do a press conference in Nairobi that we shall be led through by my team of lawyers who will tell the country how they will proceed thereafter. I would like, on this, for the sake of only three people, the youth of this county, the women of this county, and the men of this county, to allow David Barasa. Kwa majina naidua David Barasa, niko na ujungu sana. Kama moja wa vijana wa hii kakameka county, na mama anatoka kwa area yangu. Mama anatoka kwa familia yangu, hata mimi mwe. Mishumiwa nataka kukuambia, as the community of Panyala, we are going to see you Toto, Kilewa Shumanyula, kwa sababu tuko, we are very much worried. 
our sister ma might end up losing the marriage because of such a stupid things. So tunataka shimanyu la kuche kotini atuambie kama musijana yetu really ni malaya atuambie na tutolee hiyo ujuta tujue kwa nini ame accuse musijana wetu. Na watu wanavaholo tumekasirika tuko na majungu sana. Tunaenda kuchukua hiyo action kesho pia mimi naenda kuandika statement na vaholo kama ndugu ya mama ambaye amechafuliwa china asante uh, on behalf of our women welcome mama very fast the rain is coming mimi naitwa Pamela America ya kwamba tunaweza lala na wafanye kazi hiyo ni ishara ya kuonesha kwamba wamama si wachafu wa kufanya jambo kama hilo. Kwa hivyo tunasimama na kusiu ya kwamba Mr. Toto ametuharibia jina na anastahili explain kwa nini ametuharibia jina kama wamama. Biblia inasema usishuhudie uongo kwa jambo ambalo haujui. Nimesema hivyo kama pastor. Asante. I come from Butere sub county. Wamarama, nyumba ya Wamarama, Butere sub county. Uh, okay, asante sana. Majina yangu ni Newton Muyira Werangai. Natoka Lugari. Mimi ni Mtachoni. On behalf ya watu wa Lugari, wenye wamekua marafiki sana wa wa senator, kwanza tunasema pole kwa yaliyotokea na tunasema pole kwa family ya marehemu Moi kwa yote yaliyotokea lakini watu wa Lugari we stand to condemn the statement of one toto kusema kuwa senator Boni Halwale alihusika na kifo cha marehemu Moi sisi tunajua senator is a straightforward person ni daktari ni mtu mwenye ame, ameitimu kuchunga maisha ni mtu mwenye ameitimu kutibu watu sio kuua watu hawezi enda kinyume na taluma yake ya kutibu.